Oh, you know it off. here in Fairmont. Um, we were supposed to get up before the sun rises, but it's like spring, so the yeah, sun rises so earlier. <laughs> the sun gets up a lot earlier than we anticipated it would. Anyway, we're gonna go hike up the ski hill before it opens, just to have our morning coffee. And then we're gonna ski down and grab our lift ticket. About it, that's what you said. S spin out. So we're on our, what's the opposite of descent? We're oh, not- Ascent. Ascent. Yeah. Yep, so we're on our way up. No one, there's a few staff in the parking lot, but we're the first people here. Okay, so the story of this, why we're doing this stupid little <laughs> hike is, uh, we want to be like our favorite skateboarder, Heath Kirchart, because when he retired from skateboarding, he just used all the money he saved to just go on wild, crazy adventures. So we're using all the money we don't have yeah, yeah. <laughs> to go on medium crazy adventures. Or just small crazy adventures, because we're not crazy, burly, scary skateboarders like Heath Kirchart. We're just family men who drink coffee in a family cabin. And so hiking to the top of a small ski hill is like level one adventure for us. Beginner but, mode. <laughs> but we're going to be slowly increasing our adventure mode. That's yeah. our plan. Yeah, we're just gonna see whatever I can handle as an old fat guy with 20% vision. We'll just keep increasing my whatever we do. Yeah, so that's the plan. A little break for the lungs. Pretty out of shape been COVID stuck all winter, but feels good. Yeah. Does it hurt? We're about halfway up, I think. Yeah. I'm having a good time, but it's warm out. I had to lay her down already once. Yeah, I gotta take my helmet off, it's too warm. Hello? Good? We're halfway up. Really? Yeah. It's, it's empty, we got the whole place for ourselves. Okay, we gotta go, we're on a schedule. Oh, goodbye. Check in with dad. <laughs> first one of first one of 15 for today. All right. Move your old bones, you old man. Four. Walk by. Okay, so we thought we were halfway up. We were not halfway up. And uh, now we're going up this hill, which again on the GoPro does not look that steep. Well, okay, Fairmont's a small hill. And when you go down, the run is like three or five minutes or maybe less. But then when you're walking it and you're out of shape, it's uh, really steep and I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I thought it should take us like not as long as it is. We're not dawdling either. No, we're making good time. I'm kind of hoping it. We made it to the top and it's warm out. Super warm, it's almost muggy. Yeah. Kind of feels like Vancouver here. Oh yeah. Plus COVID sharing is like, yeah, yeah, I, guess like that too. I forget about it when I offer people coffee and then I'm like, oh wait. <laughs> this is it. So we had our coffee, talked to a, uh, a BAMP ski patrol, not BAMP, what am I talking about? Fairmont ski patrol. Fairmont ski patrol, local. It took her 25 minutes to get up. It took us like an hour. It took us an hour. But she also had uh, split skis oh, or whatever. What is this little trail we're on, dude? It kind of just goes to a dead end. Yeah, I'm gonna find a toilet though. Oh, there's a log! 
I was gonna say we have fresh tracks, but it's pretty exposed. See my new hat I got? Yeah, that's sick. Powder hound. Dude, it looks good when you snowboard too. Just don't flip it off. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> when you're cruising. <laughs> She's sitting pretty tight. Yeah. Battery died as we were doing this the first time, so here we are the second time with <laughs> battery plugged in. So where do we start, Jared? Like here. Yeah, so we started down here. And we went, I don't know, I can't see this. What does it say? So that's shortcut. So we went up Cowboy. Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. we dropped down to this high plains drifter. Then we went all the way back up the peak here which looks mellow on the map but there was like some steep sections and it made me my heart beat really hard so now we're gonna go back down it and we're gonna cruise down it in two minutes and it's gonna seem pretty flat and boring yeah but fun but fun <laughs> i think it took us like 45 minutes to get up here so now we'll see how fast we can do it going down yeah we'll check the time before we go down and then we'll check the time <laughs> yeah Okay, yeah. Okay. Well, I got so we found out there's a small park here. It's just little jumps. Um, and we're gonna see with today if I can go off them. If we can set up uh, some lead ski system where Jaren goes ahead or Jaren Axel as like a beacon, like he stands on the lip. And we're just gonna see if I can go off a jump. Which I mean may or may not be successful, but we're gonna try it. We'll see what happens. So for the first lap, what makes me feel comfortable is just rolling the jumps and just skiing between the, the lip and the landing just to see distance and feel and how steep the landing is and all that stuff. And then the, when the next time we come down, we can start to think about me going off one of the small ones or, you know, I can probably go off jumps. I just need to do it a little bit differently than uh, most people. <laughs> <laughs> I followed you yeah. and I knew I was gonna hit flat. I knew I was gonna case. Yeah. I was barely in the air. Okay, so this is attempt number two, hitting the jumps. Anything else you wanna add? I'm scared. You got it. But that's how it goes. Yeah. All right. Okay, ready? Well, yeah, I'm ready. Anything? What I felt when I was cruising in was, uh, heck yeah, I got this. Yeah, you got this. Right now, I don't feel like I got it, but I know when I'm cruising in, I know I'll have it. Yeah, you got it, man. All right, ready? Think about one quick thing, you cannot get hurt on this. Yeah, for sure. Like at all. Oh, I'm ready. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Give it to me. What is this, attempt number three? This is three. Maybe just three tries and I get to the landing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I gotta get to the landing. Okay, yeah, we'll land it and we'll curve off. Okay, And yeah. session it for a couple things. Yeah, yeah. We're probably getting close to our time. I think so. We'll check time after this one. Okay. okay. Yep. Oh, hold on, hold on.
Did you make it? No, I can't so. though. But I feel so good about it. Okay. I'm gonna go back up. If you, if we hadn't had to stop, we would have. Made yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I just lost you, man. One more go. Ooh. 12, 13. Oh, we got tons of time. Well, I mean, we could go up the trailer one more time. All right, try number four. Four. We came close to the last one, but we need just a little bit more. A tiny bit more speed. A little bit more oomph. Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> you got some good air. I did, uh, when you were describing to me how to do a nose grab, yeah. I was like, I don't know if I can like think about that and do it. But when I was in the air there, I was like, I should have grabbed my nose. Cause I was starting to kind of. Yeah, that's because that's what I mean. When you have something to do with your body, yeah. then it takes you off to this like off access to straight air. So. Yeah. Dude, oh. good job. Dude. You nailed that oh. one. Now I'm all like shaky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're really caught up. Let's do it again. Yeah. All right. Ready? Ready. Okay. After I think nine or ten years of not snowboarding, I'm back at this family hill and snowboarding like way better than I thought I was going to. And even going off a jump. 20 feet baby. Or 15 feet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, I think me and Jaren are gonna be doing this more into the spring and, and start talking about next season. Yeah, so we're on our last lap out and then we're packing up and heading back to Calgary. So and we're selling some kids to get ahead of us. It's too slow. Slow, crowded. Yeah. The afternoon crowd comes in. Yeah. We did more than we set out to accomplish, I feel like. High five, dog. 